Okay, YouTube, what is going... Why are these... Why are they invisible? Okay, <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? Makes the veil back at it with some destiny. All right, guys, tis arms day. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Especially when... Oh, I can't see you. All right, he's teabagging me, but I can't see you. Especially uh, considering we're getting a new foundry, Nadir, N-A-D-I-R. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, coming with the Rise of Iron. So we're going to go through the packages and uh, make some recommendations. And, of course, always go to you guys in the comment section. Let's jump into it. Why is everyone invisible here? All right, this is weird. Let's go. Okay, first off, we got the Fasan FR4. Very, very good for Rifle. This thing can melt in the crucible. Okay, very high impact. Uh, range is really good. Charge rate's a bit slow, but if we can get one with accelerated coils, we might be good to go. So first off, we got the candle, improves weapon handling. What else? We got the HS2, uh, improved target acquisition. Replenish. I hate that perk. Single point sling. Oil frame. Life support. Exhumed. All right, I don't see anything on there I like. I'm really looking for um, enhanced. What is it called? Enhanced battery, I think, that gives you the faster charge. We got Army One, we got Spark, Torch, Single Point Sling, Injection Mold. Uh, you know what? Max is your stability. He's a little bit hit on range. Underdog and Exhumed. Not really feeling that one. I'm, guys, I'm just not a fan of fusion rifles. Alright, so we got, uh, let's see, the Candle, we got the Torch, we got Army of One, we got Snapshot, Handlaid Stock. Well, Unflinching and Exhumed. Well, for me, I'm going to go with this one here, because I can get Handlaid Stock, I'll get Max Stability, take a little bit hit on the range. I like Army 1. I need a Void 1, by the way. Uh, and I'll take Unflinching, but you know what, guys? I'm not a Fusion Rifle expert. When it comes to the other things, like Pulse Rifles, Auto Rifles, all that sort of stuff, I can make better recommendations. So I got myself that one there, right? Let's move on. Ooh, okay, the HC4. I'm not going to try to pronounce this one. What do we got? I see Third Eye there. I see Mulligan and Triple Crap. And I see Third Eye there. Okay, let's get into it. So, Omelon, this one looks like it's got a higher rate of fire. Yeah, this one's, ooh, ooh that range is awful. All right, we want something that's going to maximize our range. This thing's got no range. Uh, let's see, fast draw, quick draw. Do we got sure, uh, no, we want the short, sure, is it sure shot? Yeah, God, I can't talk. Third eye, we got lightweight, we got braced frame. Wow, max stability. Hmm, rescue mag or eye of the storm. What is up with these last sets of perks? Always being terrible. All right, I like third eye. I like braced frame, but I feel like this thing needs something for the range. All right, now, I like Mulligan on my sidearm because I like, <laughs> I don't like to miss shots. I do miss a lot of shots. Uh, we got the short shot, the steady hand IS. Uh, true side IS, okay, that's good. We want strong target acquisition. Okay, I like Mulligan. We got extended mag, oh, rifle barrel, triple crap. Ooh, all right, this is, I, I'm probably gonna get this one, okay, guys? Well, because one is I miss shots. So I like Mulligan. Uh, I like Rifle Barrel because this thing, the range is terrible on this thing. And I like Triple Crap. Uh, I use Triple Crap a lot on my longbow. It comes in very handy. All right, what about you? Is that Rescue Mag again? Yeah. All right, we got Third Eye, uh, Fast Draw, Steady Hand. Oh, there goes the Sure Shot IS. All right, superb target acquisition. Third Eye, Snapshot, Braced Frame again. Yeah, I'd go with the middle one, guys. It's got uh, Triple Crap. It's got Mulligan. For me, I like Mulligan, okay? And it also has a uh, rifle barrel on it. So, you could, yeah, the, the range is god awful on this thing. Yeah, in my opinion, you need a rifle barrel on this thing. We're going to go with that one. All right, I just kept this on my character to see if he was going to bring a full auto max stability one. Let's just take a quick look. Does he have one? Uh, perfect balance, counterbalance, and reinforced barrel. No. Uh, what does this one have? Uh, triple crap. Perfect balance, casket mag, single point sling. I'll show you mine in a second, guys. What I consider the god roll spray and play. I love that. Uh, spray and play, hammer forged, oil frame, lightweight, reinforced barrel. All right, nothing spectacular. Yeah, the one you want to look for, or at least I think you should look for, is uh, perfect balance. It's got full auto and hand laid stock, so you get max stability. Uh, you can see I like it because I infused it up to 335. And I like the 57 because it highlights enemy targets. So, all right, no good DIS 43 this week, so maybe he'll bring one next week. Let's move on to the next packages. Okay, doke, so on this character, we're going to check out two pulse rifles and also one sniper rifle, and I'll go through next week's packages and see uh, what you should buy. Okay, the Laiud Milla. This one is the real low rate of fire, high impact. I've got my Sudos PDX-45 armed with me. That's my full auto one with good range, and I love that thing. So I see Army of One, and is that perfect balance or is that counterbalance? Oh, counterbalance, okay. Uh, the GB Iron, I hate that. I like the hollow sight, LD Watchdog. We got Army of One, we got counterbalance, snapshot. Our speed reload and reinforced barrel. All right, I'm not feeling that one. Onto the middle one here. Is that uh? Oh yeah, last resort and the GB iron again. Damn, bring the hollow side already. <laughs> last resort. Zen moment. High caliber rounds. Fitted stock. Hand laid stock. That's not bad. 
I'm actually not feeling any of these. Guys, I don't use... Ooh, Headseeker and Rangefinder. Ooh. Oh, the GA post. Damn, I mean, this thing had the hollow sight. I'd be pretty happy. Headseeker, Rangefinder, Snapshot, Fitted Stock. All right, you know what? I'm going to go with this one. This one's pretty good, actually. I don't like the sights on it, but maybe I can manage it. Normally, Headseeker, I like on the fast firing pulse rifles, like the one I have, the PDX-45. But you know what? Rangefinder, because range is an issue when it comes to pulse rifles. And this thing already has a lot of range on it, so you put that on it, give it some more stability with hand stock. You take a little bit of hit on the range, but Rangefinder will make up for it. Uh, I think I'm probably going to go for that one. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, next up is the PDX-41, so it's a little different than the 45. So you can see the 45's got a little bit less impact, about half the impact, and also a uh, faster fire rate. So, is that take a knee? We got, oh, we got full auto. Oh, let's see. And we got take a knee again. Okay, <laughs> take a knee. I used, to, I used to call it take it to the knee. So we got take a knee, so gain bonus accuracy when crouched. Let's look at the sights. We got the SLO-19. We got the 26. We got uh, the SPO-57. I like that sight. What do we got? We got perfect balance. We got oiled frame. We got take a knee, snapshot, and hand laid stock. All right, so with perfect balance, hand laid stock, this is not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Let's go to the middle with full auto. Come on, have some good perks. First off, SLO-19, we got the 26, and we got the 57, okay. Hammer forged, ooh, we get some range out of this thing. Cask, all right, hold on, full auto, hammer forged, single point sling, and a reinforced barrel. All right, well, you know what, this is not bad. Um, and I say that because if you have good aim and good uh, recoil management, this thing's pretty damn good. Hammer forged, full auto, and reinforced barrel. I'm probably gonna grab this one. Let's see what the last one has. And we got to take a knee again. Sights, we got the 12, 28, uh, gives you a little more aim assist, uh, 37. We got Hammer Forged, Oiled Frame, take a knee, Speed Riddle. Yeah, I'm going with the middle one, guys. For me, I'm, I'm probably not even going to use this thing that much because I love my 45. But I might want to try this one out. It's got a little bit more impact, a little slower rate of fire. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. Hammer Forged, Full Auto Reinforced Barrel. Man, look at that range, because range is something you need with pulse rifles, I feel, in the Crucible. All right, lastly, we got the Uzume RR4. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that. RR4, I've never been a fan of this thing. Listen, I've got my longbow, I've got my thousand yards, I've got my Herfuries. Uh, I'm, I don't, you know what, you guys let me know in the comments, like, do you guys like these Omelon sniper rifles? My problem is I can never get along with the sights. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section. The SS2, we got the SS1. Uh, let's, oh, this one's a uh, low zoom. All right, we got Army of One. Quick draw, reinforced barrel, clown cartridge, and I the storm. Clown cartridge, not the reloading this weapon with a chance to gain a larger than normal mag. That's not bad. With quick draw, hmm. I wonder what the aim assist thing uh, is on this weapon. All right, see triple crap. I like triple crap. We got the uh, Corvo SS2. We got the uh, is that Falcon? Falcon SS1. It's a lower zoom. Uh, we got triple tap. We got quick draw, casca mag, and mulligan. Hmm. I kind of like that, because I do miss shots. I like triple tap ever since I got my longbow with triple tap. And I like quick draw. Hmm, I'm probably going to get that middle one, I think. Oh, what is it? And it's void, too. All right, I think I could use a new void one. Uh, the Yipaki SS2. And the that one again. I'm going to try to pronounce it, because I'm going to butcher it. Low zoom. Uh, we got performance bonus. Kills with the weapon. I have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. Single point sling. Injection mold. Clown cartridge. And Eye of the Storm. All right, I'm going to go with the middle one, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys' thoughts are. All right, let's take a look at next week's. What do we got? We got the Zarian D. Uh, I believe that's a medium. I think it's like a Zao Supercell Monte Carlo rate of fire and impact. Uh, oh, DIS-43. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. You must buy it. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. And hope that he brings a god roll. Uh, JLB-47. It's a great PvP rocket launch. If you can get it with grenades and horseshoes, proximity, you want it. I would pick this up if you don't have a PvP rocket launcher. Uh, let's see, it's a sniper rifle, um, I, I have no idea what that thing is, and the Uzume again, so, uh, I would say a must buy is the DIS-43, and buy the JLB-47 if you're looking for a rocket launcher, and then you just hold on to it and wait to see if he brings it with proximity, so, another thing guys, to keep plugging, um, before the Rise of Iron comes out, you want to get your gunsmith rank up, okay, uh, I think after rank 3, you can buy more than, uh, one package, uh, I could buy three packages per character, especially if we're getting a new foundry, I would just get his rank up, okay? Remember how we got the um, the exotic quest at rank 5 and then the legendary quest at rank 3? Uh, who knows? They may give us some new Banshee quests, and that is it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I can drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason. Check out my stream. The links will be in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.